Damn, man, whenever I was younger, I don't ever remember trying to kill my babysitter and then frame an ex-boyfriend for the whole damn thing. I guess I was a normal kid growing up. Oh, well. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be reviewing 2016's Better Watch Out. Let's get into this one. What are you doing, man? Please let me out of this. You're all baloney. La, 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 la. What's going on guys? Welcome back to this ho 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 review for this Christmas season and today I am reviewing Better Watch Out, a 2016 horror movie based around the Christmas time of year. Uh, this thing stars Levi Miller and Olivia Dejeuner. I had no idea what this film was. I've never seen a trailer for it. I went into it blind and this is going to be literally my initial reactions to this film. Honestly, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. Starts off with uh, this kid Luke, kind of a nerdy ass kid, hanging out with his friend Garrett. He's trying to come up with these plans uh, to get his babysitter um, to Ashley to fall in love with him because he's in love with her. But five year age difference at this point in their lives is just just isn't gonna happen. It's not gonna work. But Luke can't get that through his head, so he's trying to set all these plans in motion and get Garrett to go along with it. So it opens up, his parents go, they're going out for the evening, Ashley came over to babysit. Weird shit starts happening, you know what I mean? Uh, they think burglars are broken into the house, Ashley's tires have been slashed out, uh, the doors were, like, knocking at the door, that nobody ordered a pizza or anything, uh, the one, the door's left open, the window's left unlatched, and then a brick comes flying through the window upstairs, so you're like, holy shit, this, so this is like a home invasion Christmas movie, and these two kids... The babysitter and, and Luke are going to, you know, fight their way out of this. As it comes to fruition, uh, Garrett was actually there. Him and Luke organized this whole thing to, you know, get Ashley scared and make Luke seem like he was a real man's man and tough. And he could be there for Ashley and, and she, maybe she'd fall in love with him that way and, and they'd live like, you know, happily ever after. Uh, obviously, Ashley was like, what the fuck, man? This is not how you go about doing this shit, obviously. You know, she almost fell and broke her neck, and she wasn't having this shit, so she was going to call his parents and whatnot. And you're like, oh, I don't know where the rest of this movie's going. And then Luke loses his shit. Bitch slaps Ashley down the steps, knocks her unconscious, and duct tapes her ass to a chair. And Garrett's like, dude, what the hell is going on? Garrett didn't sign up for any of this. It was just a prank to scare her. That was all he signed up for. And once this movie goes along, he signed up for way more than he bargained for. And unfortunately, he's not going to make it out of this situation at all. Um, um, explains that obviously he loved Ashley and blah, blah, blah. He phoned Ricky, who is Ashley's boyfriend, had him come over. They didn't know nothing about it beat his ass with a baseball bat and tie his ass to a chair too. So he got them both duct tape up in the living room and he got all his plans to get out of this situation. Um, an awesome part of this movie, the Home Alone kill. You remember, you guys remember in Home Alone when Kevin's throwing the paint cans over at, at, at Harry and, uh, and Marv. Yeah, but that was a movie, and this is what would really happen in real life if it did happen. He throws that paint can over, hits Ricky's face. That shit explodes. Blood and paint everywhere, dripping all over the floor and shit. Kind of looks like... Honestly, it looks like ketchup and mustard just pouring out, but... That, that's probably honestly what would really happen if a paint can did get flung over that was filled with paint. It ain't gonna just knock you out for a second. It's gonna kill you. So he killed Ricky, and Garrett's just freaking lost. He's Garrett and Ashley are just freaking losing their damn minds. Ashley escaped out of the duct tape because she found a piece of glass conveniently laying on the ground. But uh, she was smart. She, she hid it, kept it concealed for the most part, you know. Cut the duct tape slowly so they wouldn't uh, like see her actually escaping. Uh, she had a little bit of blood, so she wiped it up with her sock. 
I don't know how they wouldn't have noticed her sock off her foot. But, as, as the way this movie is, you just gotta go with it. Um, Luke is smart enough, you know, they recapture Ashley. She tries to escape, he recaptures her, ties her up even better than he did the first time. He gets on the phone, he calls her other ex, Jeremy, to come over. And has him sit down and write a note saying, apologizing to Ashley, they're going to get back together and whatnot. So it kind of looks like a murder-suicide note. He had all this shit planned out to a T. Hangs his ass, ties a rope around his neck, throws it over a tree, connects it to the lawnmower, and starts driving that shit away. And he hangs Jeremy. That's a badass kill. I mean, it's probably been done a million times before, but just this little, like, 12-year-old kid's doing it. It's pretty badass, and... And it was a good setup to think it was a murder-suicide. The note was there. He hung himself. No evidence that he was killed. He went back through the house and freaking tied up all the loose ends. Put the can of paint on Jeremy's hands. Put the shotgun right next to Garrett's body like he shot him. And then he was talking to Ashley. And he did the unexpected. I didn't see it coming. He stabbed her right in the neck and he thought she was dead. Uh, he, you know, did his usual routine. Turned on his... I don't even know what it is. Like, the... For the fraternity like noise like when you're in the a baby in the belly the heart beating he has to sleep with that on for some reason and he's laying in bed when his parents come home like he knew nothing he was out all that shit happened while he was asleep and then he hears we got a live one Ashley took the duct tape smart ass chick took the duct tape put it over her neck wound so she would stop bleeding and she lived and as she's getting wheeled onto the stretcher she sees Luke up in the window looking out kind of Home Alone style. And then she just gives him the bird like this. Like, fuck you, bitch. I lived. Your ass is going to prison. I mean, I... This movie was crazy. This is not how I expected this movie to go. If you have not seen it, I would definitely check it out. It is obviously based around Christmas time. There's Christmas decorations and everything else like that. Um... I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd consider it a, a Christmas horror movie. It really didn't have too much to do. It didn't focus. Like, Christmas is the main premise of this movie, so I don't... I guess it's a Christmas movie. I guess it's all how you, all how you look at it. But it was, a, it was a hell of a good time. I definitely did not see this movie ending and turning out the way that it did, for damn sure. Uh, Luke is one psychotic son of a bitch. Um, and if he does not go to prison now, he's going to be a super serial killer later in life, I can tell you that. Uh, out of five stars, um, honestly on this one I probably have to give it, probably give it a three out of five. Just based on the kills were pretty sweet and the originality of the idea that, with the twist, I just didn't see that shit coming. I do believe it could have been a little bit better. Um, seemed kind of drag in the middle, kind of drugged down and was boring in the middle for a little bit, but... Overall, it was a pretty pretty fascinating, exciting story. So, if you haven't checked it out, definitely give it a watch. And just look at free time to watch this for you guys. I got a couple more Hallow yeah, Halloween, I wish. Christmas-oriented horror movies coming up for you guys. So, definitely check those out. And you definitely guys have a ho-ho-ho merry day. Yeah.